Scientists warn America's deadliest volcano is recharging for eruption amid quakes warm. Scientists have warned that America's deadliest volcano is recharging its magma supply as they continue to monitor an increasing series of subterranean earthquakes. Seismologists studying Mount St. Helens say a swarm of 130 tremors have been recorded below the volcano as it generates more lava ahead of a possible future eruption. The active volcano, responsible for America's deadliest ever eruption, is still very much alive according to experts tasked with predicting when it will next blow its top. They are continuing to monitor the situation carefully amid concerns that the current quakes could develop into a big recharge event indicating that a huge eruption is imminent. Mount St. Helens, in the northwestern state of Washington, was responsible for America's deadliest eruption in 1980 when 57 people lost their lives and hundreds of homes were destroyed. It is located some 95 miles south of the city of Seattle, which is home to more than 600,000 people. In a note put out this week the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, revealed that the number of tremors being detected below the deadly volcano has increased dramatically, with a swarm of 130 registering in the past eight weeks alone. Seth Moran scientist and chief of the Cascades Volcano Observatory, said, It's telling us that years to decades from now, St. Helens will erupt again. Mount St. Helens last erupted in 2008 following a surprise reawakening in 2004, which had been preceded by decades of relative inactivity. But Eric Clemente, an assistant professor of geosciences at Denison University, said the recent seismic activity shows the volcano is now replenishing its magma supplies ahead of a future potential eruption. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.